talk to us, Tommy. Tell us how your preparations are gone. Let's start with preparations before we, we talk about your if you're going to win the fight or not. Well, um, preparations have been going well up to date. Um, we've only started uh, really pushing for the fight this week. So um, running and everything uh, picked up this week. Training is going very well. Uh, I have nothing to complain about at the moment. So yeah, just looking forward uh, to, to the event and looking forward to getting back into the ring. To be so, another big one for you, international fight. Um, possibly your toughest fight ever. And I know you've both been in big fights. Tommy's been a seven or eight time IBO world champion in a two divisions lighter. Talk to me about your training firstly. How's your preparation gone? Uh, everything has been going well. I've been training since my previous fights. I haven't stopped from then, so I've been pushing very hard and I'm very confident and yeah, everything is going well. Okay, Tommy, let's talk uh, the fight, obviously. That's the important stuff. I mean, you, you've been in there in big fights in your life. How do you see this fight going? Are you going to win this fight? Tell us how you think it's going to go. Um, well, we wouldn't have taken the fight if, if we weren't confident that we could win it. So, you know, at the end of the day, everything comes down to the night of the fight. You know, all talk and all banter can can be done ahead of the fight, but when it comes down to the 1st of September, it's going to be the nerdy gritty, and uh, it's going to be getting down to business, and uh, all the best to Tabisa and his team uh, with their preparations. Uh, I'm glad to hear the training is going well. Our preparations are also going well, so it's going to be a good, good competitive fight. I think that's why it's grabbing the media's attention, it's because uh, not only on paper, but personally, the the, the, the two people that are going to be climbing in the ring, myself and Tabi, so um, we have shown the country why we are guys to look at. So, can you tell Tabi so who's sitting right next to you what you think is going to happen? <laughs> uh, well, Tabi so I'm sitting right next to you. I'm come I'm coming to win. You know, uh, you wouldn't have taken the fight if you didn't believe you. You're going to be coming to win, I'm also coming to win. Just prepare yourself for that. Yeah, you think you're coming to win? <laughs> you think you're coming to win? <laughs> they all think you're coming to win. It's, well, to be it's said, boxing. Yeah, as I said, back to you, the, the next question. <coughs> to follow up on what Tommy said, the winner, by the way, fights on the 8th of December for the WBC International title. So it's an important fight for both you guys. Can you tell Tommy that you're going to win the fight or what you think is going to happen? He already knows I'm going to win, man. He already knows I'm going to win. I'm better than him, I believe I'm better than him. And in every aspect he can do, I can just do it better than him. So uh, that's why I believe I can, I'm gonna win the fight. And I'm a bigger guy. I've been in this weight since I've been a pro. He was a light heavy. I've been a cruise, I've, I've uh, competed in the highest level in my weight division. He's coming to my weight division, so he got no chance, man. No Tommy, what do you hear about Tabuso says? He says you've got no chance in the cruiserweight division. Yeah, no, um, he's uh, definitely a bigger guy than me uh, in broadness. But uh, being two foot two... You talk, uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, you, and you two foot two, so... Yeah, that <laughs> <laughs> it explains a lot who's the biggest guy, actually, you know. Um, even though I was fighting and competing in lighter weights, um, there's no problem uh, moving up. Um, I've got the length to carry the weight with me, and... Uh, you know, it's boxing. Oh, uh, he he says he's gonna win, and he's telling he's telling you guys that I know he's gonna win. After the fight, he'll apologize. You know, he'll have to apologize to his fans as well. Tommy, do you think the weight's gonna affect you moving up to, like, like you did say, you, say you are a bigger guy, you're a tall guy. Are you gonna have the punching power in the cruiserweight division? Obviously, they, there's uh, with boxing, it's it's about technique and everything. Uh, so. You know, hard work as well pays off. So uh, putting up uh, extra few pounds and um, you know putting it behind the technique and everything, it it gives you more bang for your buck. If 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 I pronounce it rightly, you know more bang for your buck. So definitely there's there's going to be more pop. It's going to be more pop every time. You know weight uh, weight stops trains. That's what they say. To be so you come in, you've been a cruiserweight as you said your whole life. You're a strong cruiserweight, your knockout uh, ratio is great. Um, Tommy is moving up to your division. Do you believe you're going to knock him out? I can't say I'm going to knock him out, but I can guarantee you that I'm going to win the fight. Whatever happens will be a bonus. So tell, tell the viewers you believe Tabisa and Kuna to win on the 1st of September? 
Yeah, obviously I'm gonna win on first September. If it goes that intense, then it will be. But the knockout can come anytime. Tommy, tell us: does all roads lead to Empress Palace on the first of September? All roads, uh, all roads, Tommy Gun to Empress Palace. You know, I'm I'm coming in as the underdog because uh, I've been competing uh, on lower weights. You know, lower weight divisions, but. In every weight division that I've competed in, uh, I've dominated. Uh, I've been dominating, and uh, hopefully, you know, uh, everything just goes well, smooth sailing with training. Training, it's all about preparation. It's the 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 work you put in before the fight and stuff. So, um, so you your know, fans can trust that the Tommy Bursta is on yeah, you on, know, uh, on the there, highest level will, will pitch up. There, there was a, there was a reckless Tommy for for the last couple of years. And uh, I understand why uh, why people people could have not without a doubt could have why people got hurt uh, by by my lack of sportsmanship uh, you know preparing and also my discipline and stuff uh, so uh, it's it's putting it back to the drawboard and, and starting over you know uh, starting. So you're saying there's no way to be and Quinn can beat you on the first of September. I can't see it. I can't see it happening. You know. Well, you'll see it on the first of September. You will see it that night. Uh, late, the first of September. Only God knows what's going to happen on the first of September. So, uh, let us prepare and to be so sitting next to me. I'm hoping all the best for their training camp. Sean, all the best for you guys. Mm -hmm. Your training camp, all the best, and please wish us the same, because then uh, we'll I bring one hell of a fight. We'll bring one hell <coughs> of a fight. But I don't fight to lose, you know. So, like boxing with the blue hair. Nobody <laughs> fights to lose, but you lose. So yeah, fights to lose. Final point from each card. To be sir, we've spoken about it. Are you winning the fight? Yes, definitely, I'm winning the fight. Tommy West has. Tommy West has winning the fight first of September. To be sir, first of September, you winning the fight. He thinks he's winning. Yeah, he thinks he's winning. The fight. He thinks I'm thinking. <laughs> I, know, I know what I put in. I know what I put in. You know. He thinks. He he thinks. I think, and it's too much thinking. I'll do it. Right, it's, uh, shake hands, guys. Good luck. All the best. First of September, mate. The best man won. Sure. All the best. Now, trainers, Alan Fulbright and Sean Smith.